What is up, my DGENs? Chris, the Dice DGEN. Welcome back to another matchup in the round one of DGEN Craps Madness. Today, we have a good friend, Joseph, going up against the Field Martingale. Why this is in the tournament, I have no idea. This is requested by quite a few people, so it's here. It's contending, but um, we got Joseph playing live. Joseph, how are you this evening? Pretty good, Chris. I uh, want to thank you for, uh, for coming on. And uh, you're usually my conscience uh, with, you know, correcting me on the bets. And uh, I know you love the upside down writing at times. So uh, hopefully this will be interesting tonight. But uh, how are you feeling playing up against the field martingale? It'll be a challenge, but I think I beat it. All right. That's the mentality I like. So for everyone at home, just so you guys know, $10 minimum table, $1,000 max bet table, center action is going to be a max of $250. There's no field or no fire bets. No ATS bets, no repeater bets, uh, no VIGs on any buys on the 4 and 10, no VIGs on the lays. Uh, no line bet is required. 3, 4, 5x times odds on the lines or the come bets or the DCs. Uh, Joseph's rack is down here. We'll be playing on my right, your left. Uh, the Field Martingale will be in the field by the 12 the entire time. Uh, how the Field Martingale is going to go is going to go 25 50, 100, 200, so forth and so on. Um, typical Martingale in the field. Uh, any questions, Joseph? No, sir. No, sir. You're good to go. All right, here we go. Come out action. What can I do for you? Uh, $100 in dog on DP. 100 on the DP. Anything else? That, that's it. That's it. All right. Field, starting it up. Just going to continuously go through the field. Here we go. Pick the uh, the green dice. Roll number one. And we got a four one five. Four and a one. That's a no field. All right. So that'll come down. We'll mark it up. We're going to go to 50 in the field. What can I do for you? Five dollars or uh, 25 in the field. Okay. 36 and eight. Each. Yes, sir. And that's it. Set. You're set. Here we go. All right. We got a hard six. Three, three, hard six. All right. So, uh, fields will both fall. I'm going to pop this hundred in here for the field, Marty, right away so I don't forget. Uh, you're going to get paid 35 for your six. Uh, what can I do for you? Put 25 in the field again. Okay. And uh, take a uh, Press a six and eight up one unit each. I uh, make it a uh, thirty. Um, thirty six. Thirty six each. All right. I dropped a nickel out of your rack. Getting change there, and uh, we're gonna give you three back to the rack, and we're gonna bump these to thirty six each. All right. Here we go. Uh, roll number three. And we got another hard six. Back to back hard sixes. All right, so field's going to fall. Uh, your six is going to get paid 42. There's 42 for the 36. Uh, what can I do for you? Quarter in the field, okay. 15 in the DC bet. Rack the two. Sounds good. All right, and uh, the field, Marty's up to 200 in the field. All right, here we go. Uh, roll number four. And it looks like a 5-3-8. Randy is not a fan of the field tonight, I'll tell you that. 5-3-8. Fields will fall. Uh, you're going to get paid another uh, 42 for that 8. Your DC will travel over here. Uh, what can I do for you? Uh, quarter in the field. Okay. 15 to the uh, DC. Rack the 2. Beautiful. And uh, Field Marty's got 400 in the field now. All right, here we go. Roll number five. And we got a four, two, six. Got a four and a two. All right, so it's going to be another no field. And um, the field, Marty, that was 400. All right, I'll yep. check that out in a minute. Um, you get another 42 here. Your 15 is going to travel behind. What can I do for you? Okay, uh, put a quarter in the field. Okay. Um, rack the rest. Rack the rest. Beautiful. All right. There we go. Um, 
So that had 400 in the field. Now it's going to look like 800. I don't even know if there's enough in the rack for 800. Uh, there's six. Well, I guess this could be over very quickly. Uh, it's going to be 725 in the field because that's all that's left in the rack. Leaning Tower of Pisa in the field. Here we go. I know, what, uh, I know what somebody would say. Stack it all up on one big stack. <laughs> all right, here we go. <laughs> Boom. There we go. That's one big stack in the field. Um, all right, here we go. For all number six. Oh, boy. Joseph, how was that? How, how long did that take? Not very long. <laughs> Not very long at all. For everyone at home, Man, he did the field why, dirty. This is why, for everybody at home, this is why you don't play this, okay? Listen up. This is why you don't play this. this Emotional damage. Adios. $1,500 gone in six rolls. Congratulations. You're leaving the casino a very unhappy individual. Um, and this is precisely why we don't play this way. This is why. That was a long trip out to Vegas to be going home in five minutes. <laughs> I know, right? All right, so you're eight. So what's going to happen is uh, the DC will fall, but you still will get paid 42 on that eight. And what I'm going to do here, up to you. You got two options. You can kill it right here, or you can play stress-free knowing that you already won and just roll it out for 36 and see how you do up against the 36. Up to you. Uh Let's do the 36. Let's see how this goes. All right, let's do it. So you got $42. Yep. Put a quarter in the field again. Okay. 15 in the DC. Direct the two. Beautiful. All right. Stress-free playing craps. This is this is fun, huh? <laughs> yep. Here we go. Uh, three, two, five. Three and a two. So that's going to be a front-line winner. Randy has still not hit a field number. Uh, DP will fall. Field will fall. What can I do for you? Okay. Now uh, we'll go uh, another hundred into uh, DP. Okay. And um, put a fifteen dollar place bet on the five. Okay. Make the six dollar uh, place six uh, eighteen. Okay. And just uh, five and three. Yeah. Do you want the 8 and 18 as well or just the 6? Nope, just the 6. And the, six. And they're working. Not working. They're working. They're working. All right, there we go. Oh, I see. Yep. What, I see what you're doing. All right, here we go. They're on uh, roll number 8. And we got a 3 2 5 right back. We still have not hit a field number. Still, that's 8 rolls. Um, all right, so this uh, DP is, or DC, sorry, is going to fall, but you're going to win 21. Up top, point will be five. What can I do? Okay. We'll put um, 15 down in the field. Okay. Um, make uh, the 830. Okay. And uh, down on the place five. Down on place five. All right. Rack the rest. Rack the rest. There we go. Looks like a midnight. That's all the dots in all of the spots. Good thing that comes now, huh? Yeah, we did the morning yellow good, but it hit me I had like a three thousand dollar bet in there almost. <laughs> uh, you would have needed even more than three thousand, because so that last bet should have been the last one that was in there um, should have been eight eight hundred. Then it would have went to sixteen hundred. Then thirty two hundred. It would have finally hit at sixty four hundred. I don't think that real depends what casino you're at. They might not let it make a 3,200 bet. That's true. Exactly. Well, also, table max on the table is only 1,000 bucks, so they couldn't have gone higher than 800. Um, so they could have went to 1,000, and that's it. So anyway, mm -hmm. getting paid uh, trip, uh, double in the field, so you got $30 in profit. Okay, $15 in the D.C. Okay. And uh, place the nine for uh, 15 Okay, and uh, 15 in the field or 15 back to your Yep, right? 15 in the field. 
Beautiful. Here we go. Uh, rule number 10. We got a 4 3 7. 4 and a 3. All right. So, one will turn off. These bats will fall. DC will also fall. The, the one that was in the DC. Uh, this DC will come down and get paid. There you go. And you're going to win 100 down there on the line. All right. Uh, what can I do? $100 DP. That's the set. Here we go. All right. Let's get some new dice. I was a, it was a 10 roller from Randy with a singular field number. I paid double, but still. Ooh, brutal. And we got a 6-4-10. 6 4 10 out there on the end. All right. What can I do for you? Okay. $50 on the buy the 10. Okay. And uh, 54 cross on the rest. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Roll number, awesome. Roll number 12. That's looking like a 639. It's a leaner in the corner. I'm going to pull it down. Dealer calls a 6 and a 3. Um, all right, 639. It's going to pay you $14. What can I do? Um, put 14 in, or uh, put, put 10 in the DP or DC, I mean. Okay. And then uh, rack the rest. Sounds good. Third of the way through. How are we feeling? Are we stressed out? Are we stressed at all or no? Oh, man, my heart's pounding here. <laughs> we need some brown water. I can't take the stress. <laughs> all right, here we go. It's looking like a 426, a little bit of lumber, 2 by 4 All right, so uh, the $10 will travel behind, but you will win 14 up at the top. Uh, what can I do for you? Ooh. Uh Ten dollars in the DC and rack the rest. Okay. I'm gonna move these reds over there. Put that in there. Here we go. All right. Next roll. What do we have? We got a six, two, eight, six and a two. All right. So this DP or DC will travel. You will get paid another fourteen up here. What are we doing? Okay. Ten dollars more in the DC. Okay. And uh, take um, press the six and eight, uh, one unit each. Uh, be uh, eighteen each. Sure. There you go, eighteen each on the six and eight. Yep. All right. Here we go. Roll number fifteen. And we got a six two eight. Good time to press. Oh, I rolled that. It was a six two. There you go. Six and a two. Eight. Um. So this. DC will fall. This one will travel. This one will get paid in the front. 21. What can I do for you? Uh, just rack it. Okay. All bet set. All bet set. Here we go. Roll number 16. And we got a 538 again. Randy's loving these sixes and eights today. I'll tell you that. All right. So this will fall, but you will get paid another 21. What can I do for you? Okay, uh, put uh, 15 in the DC. Okay. And uh, press the 8 up the rest. All right, so 8 looks like 24. Yep. Here we go. Roll 17 is a 6 3 9 -er. 6 and a 3. All right, so that's going to pay you another 14. I'm going to pay you 15 for a dollar out of the rack. Um, and this will travel behind the 9. 15 bucks, what can I do? Press the nine up $10 and yeah. the rack the rest. Sounds good. Here we go. Roll number 18. And we got a 549. Randy is loving this like back to back stuff here. Um, so DC will fall, but you'll get paid $28 on your uh, place nine. What can I do for you? Uh, put, um, Put another uh, fifteen dollars into DC. Okay. Press up to nine a quarter. More. Yep. A quarter Direct more. rest. Yep. All right. So nine looks like forty-five. Be... Yep. Direct the rest. Sounds good. All right. We're halfway through. Are, is the heart rate still high, or how are we doing? 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to go get some big drug, uh, brown water pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Halfway through, this is roll number 19, and it's a four and a three, which makes a seven. All right, so uh, this is DC will fall. The place bets will all fall. This DC will come down and get paid. And you will get paid down there on your DP as well. All right, what are we doing? Next shooter. Okay. $100 on the DP. Yes, set, sir. Ready to go. You're set and ready to go. Here we go. All right, Randy, let's find let's find some aces or some ace deuces. Come on, Randy. Uh, no, Randy, not that number. It's a 527 on the come out. DP will fall. What can I do? Uh, I got 150 in the DP. Yes, sir. 150 in the DP. Boom. All right. Set. Here we go. And we've got a hard four. A little bit of ballerina, 2-2, two -two, hard four. All right, so mark it up. What can I do for you? Ah, uh, 75 on the four. Okay. And we'll do, uh, do um, 15 on the five, nine, and 10. Okay. And 18 on the six and eight. Yes, sir. And all set. Beautiful. All set. There we go. All right, here we go. Roll number 22. And we got aces. Where was that on the last roll? We need that on the last roll. There's aces. Uh, any changes for you? Nope. All, all right. set. Here we go. Roll number 23, Michael Jordan. And it's going to be a 3-1-4. Three, 3-1. One, three one. That's a frontline winner. Uh, so this will turn off. DP will fall. However, 75 will pay you the 150. There you go. What are okay. you doing? Uh, another 150 and a DP. Okay. And place bets are off, right? Yep. Place bets are off. All right. Here we go. Roll number 24. And we got a 6-5 yo. 6-5 mid-mo. It's going to take the DP. What okay. can I do for you? Maybe a $200 DP. All right, 200 Anything else? That's it. All set. All right, here we go. And we got a 5, 4, 9. 5 and a 4. All right, we'll mark it up. What can I do for you? Okay, let's make um. Make it uh, $85, uh, 5, 6, and 8. 85 on the 6 and 8? Five, five, six, and eight, 85, 25, 30, 30. Okay. 25, 30, 30. And everything else down then. Okay, cool. I'm going to pull all this down. Got 25, 30, 30. And the rest of this is coming back to your rack. Yep. All right. Here we go. Uh, roll number 26. We got a 6-4-10 out there on the end. Doesn't do anything. Any changes? No changes. No All good. good. All right, here we go. We got 10 rolls left. And we got aces. No changes. No changes. All right. Here we go. And there's a 6-2. Easy 8 right there. That'll pay you 35. Yep. What can I do for you? Okay, fifteen dollars in the DC. Okay. Uh, press the five up a nickel. Okay. And fifteen dollars in the field. Yes, sir. And all set. All right. Here we go. And we got a six four ten. Six four ten. All the way out there on the end. So this will travel over there. And you get paid 15 in the field. What can I do yep. for you? Uh, take a nickel out of the rack, come out of my rack, and uh, make the 10 20 dollars. So a 20 dollar buy 10. Yep. Okay. Set. Keep in the field, right? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. And that was a smart play because there's back to back 
six, four, tens. All right, so DC will fall. However, you're going to get paid 40 for your uh, 10, and you're also going to get paid another 15 in the field. Yep. Go ahead. What can I do for you? $15 into the DC. Okay. Um, make the make the ten forty dollars. Okay. And press up the six and eight uh six dollars each. Okay. Uh, ten going back to your rack. I'm gonna drop. Yep. Two out. There we go. All right. Anything else? That's it. All right. Six rolls set. left. And you got another ten. Six and a four. Randy, three in a row on the six four variety. All right, so it's going to pay you 80 for your place bet. You're also going to win 15 in the field. What can I do for you? 15 on uh, DC. Okay. Uh, press up the five and nickel. Okay. And um, press up the 10, another uh, 25. Another 25. And then the rest rack. Going to look like 65 on the 10 and 50 going back right. to the rack. Yep. All right, here we go. Roll number 32. And it's a three, two, five, three and a two. All right, so this is gonna travel behind the five. The field will fall. Uh, 35 is gonna pay you 50 for a dollar. There's 50 for a dollar from the rack. What can I do for you? $15 on field. Okay. And uh, press up the five, make it $50 on the five. $50 on the five, rack the rest? Rack the rest, rack the rest. Beautiful. All right, here we go. That's a six, five, mid, mo, yo. Six and a five. All right, this is going to pay you 15 in the field. What can I do for you? $15 on the four. Okay. All set. Beautiful. Making my job easy here. And we got a three, two, five. Another three, two. All right, so DC will fall, field will also fall, but 50 is going to pay you 70. What can I do for you? $15 in the field. Okay. Uh, make, the, um, make it a quarter in the DC. Okay. And rack the rest. All right, 30 coming back to the rack. You got uh, two rolls left, two rolls. Here we go. And that's a five, three, eight. Five and a three. So the quarter is going to travel back there. Field will fall. Uh, 36 is going to pay you 42. Uh, what can I do for you? Final roll, keep in mind. Final roll? Yes, sir. Oh, wow. Just rack it all. Rack it all. All right. Yep. I'm just going to pop this over here because I'm running out of room over there. All right, final roll. Here we go. And we got an ace, deuce, three craps. That's a useless final roll. Useless final roll. But that was uh, that was it's a, definitely a close one. I can this rack is looking healthy over here. All right, I'm gonna pull all your bets down, and we'll give you a count here. If it was big as each channel, I'd tell you to polish up that rack of his. <laughs> yeah, I might have to get the. Uh, I might have to get out the. Uh, the cloth and give it a little shiny. I might have to do that. I gotta find a cloth though, that's the problem. All right, we pull the bets down. The rack looks a mess. It's okay, I'm gonna count it in a second. Oh, here we go. I found a, found a nice little mat here. We're gonna <laughs> polish out the Field Martingale rack. That was uh, nice. Um, I'd ask you which rack you wanted counted first. So I guess we'll go with the Field Marty first. Um, unfortunately, this is not going to be very uh, entertaining to watch be written. It's a big old goose egg. All right, here we go. Let's count out this rack here. Looking a lot healthier, this rack. All right.
All right, so there's your starting bankroll. There's 1500 So we profited. Unfortunately, Randy sniped off a couple of those uh, large uh, DPs you had out there. But it's all right. Still profited. So there's 500 1000 15 15, 25, 15, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 15, 76. All right. One, five, uh, the seven, seven, six, maybe. Yep. All right. Looks there we good. Go. I was going to say, this will be the one that I mess up is when you're on with me. This will be the one that I <laughs> goof up, but. Uh, congrats on the win. You're moving on uh, to the next round. Let me see. I can tell you who you're playing against. Let's see here. Let's see. Um, ah, you're playing against the three-point Molly with max odds in the next round. That'll be close. Yeah, it'll be a good one. It'll be a good one. So what'd you think? How'd you feel playing live? Uh, what'd you think of the whole thing? This is really interesting. First time I've ever done it. Well, I'm glad, again, that you came on live to play. Uh, always a pleasure to uh, to chat with you back and forth, um, you know, in comments and chat. And uh, nice to finally uh, talk with you in person. Um, and, again, congrats on the win. You'll be playing up against a three-point Molly. And um, I'll be contacting you soon to get that one scheduled up. Um, and uh, I guess you can start figuring out if you're going to play this, if you're going to play something different. Because uh, you know exactly what the Molly's doing. So uh, you can uh, concoct whatever you feel like concocting. And, uh, yeah, and I, think that, uh, I think that'll call it. Uh, any final words? No, sir. Uh, it was a great challenge. Um, to feel sorry for it with Phil Barringale, but, hey, <laughs> it happens. It, it happens. Happen. Listen, I, um, I've... I don't like to admit this, but I, I've done the Field Martingale in person before. I've done it online, and it's whacked me every single time. Um, I have people ask me, oh, why, can't, why don't you just do it? Why don't you do it? It's a great thing. You have half the numbers covered. Yeah, uh, you saw right there, six or seven rolls, bankroll busted. Um, and mm -hmm. you would have needed even a 10K bankroll wouldn't have covered where you needed to be. Um to actually make that profit. If you had like, you know, 50 K, yeah, maybe you can think about it. The problem is you're going to run the table max. So, um, again, it is what it is. Field Marty, big old goose egg. Joe, you ended up with 1576, which is a nice $76 profit. So congrats to you, sir. And, uh, I'll be talking to you real soon and I hope everybody at home enjoyed this. And, uh, I'll be talking to you guys all very, very soon. Just remember everybody has a little DJ in them and, uh, see you real soon. Peace.